Hi, so usually when I have to start writing papers, I procrastinate for about a week, telling my professor that I have already started writing and that everything is coming along. Whereas in reality, I'm just kind of putting it off until the end. But when I actually do start writing, I'm fairly fast. And over the last few years, I learned some tips and tricks that really helped me to speed up my writing process. So hi, I'm Charlotte Frassa, a second year PhD student in computational neuroscience. And today I want to talk a little bit about the paper writing process. And if you're a student or a PhD student or a researcher to help you speed up your process and make everything a little bit easier. I also have some golden tips that really for me made a huge difference in how fast I write my papers. So stay tuned for that. So first things first, before you start writing, you need to have three things things ready. And the first one is that you need to have your topic, your question or your conclusion fully clear for yourself. So before you even start writing, you kind of need to have in your mind the goal of why you are writing this paper. So what is the conclusion you want to get your audience to? What are the most important results? such that the red line throughout your paper is really clear. The second thing is if you are writing a technical paper, I would recommend to have 90% of your results fully ready. So have the figures, have the tables, have all the little p-values and everything clear and ready. And I say 90% because if you are a researcher or you're doing some research, you know that nothing is ever 100% ready. So if it's 90% ready, that is fine. So do your final analysis before you even start writing. And then the third thing is the literature review. So if you are a little bit prepared, you should have already read most of the literature that should be referenced towards in your paper. So if you haven't done this, still I would take a day for example or a couple of hours to go to the top 10 or top 20 most important papers in your field or for your paper such that you can write a few bullet points and already note them down in your paper because if you have to do this whilst writing you lose a lot of time looking up all the references and seeing where to go so then it's day one usually when I start writing and everything in total is five days and the first thing of course you do is to open your favorite favorite editing software. And in science, two are used. One is Word, of course, and the other is LaTeX. So I really like LaTeX because it's this scientific editing software and you can easily put in formulas. But I do have to say a lot of journals kind of don't really like LaTeX that much. So if you have to submit it to a journal, they sometimes change the formatting and this can be a huge hassle. So if you're going to submit your paper, I would perhaps suggest Word. And it's also easier when other people want to comment on certain parts of your paper or you have multiple authors because in Word you can just easy on the side leave a few comments. And this is is harder in LaTeX but yeah pick your favorite one. Then the next thing you have to think about is the audience and the journal you want to submit to. So usually before you start writing your paper you already have the audience clear. So if for example you're writing for a class that could perhaps be your professor or your fellow students but if you're submitting your paper to a journal think before you start writing which journal you probably want to submit to because then you can know what kind of formatting this journal prefers or what they would like to see more more results or more methods and you can kind of format your paper a little bit more towards that specific journal. Then I usually start making the outline and the outline consists of the introduction, the methods, the results, the discussion and finally the conclusion. I already put in the results, all the little figures I found, all the tables, etc. I also put in everything from the literature review in the right sections such that I don't have to refer back to that later and I usually make a skeleton of all the points I want to say. I have to say this part is probably the hardest to make a good clear outline but the more time you spend on your outline the easier the writing becomes but if you don't have that much time I would recommend to do it in about an hour two hour just a full dump of everything you kind of want in your paper and then the writing process becomes a lot easier. So then usually on day two I really start writing. So the first 
two sections I write are the methods and the results. So the method section is relatively easy to write as it is on the work you have performed. So just think about all the steps you took and go over your lab notes and your code and put in all the relevant mathematics. Then for the results, just like the method section, it's relatively straightforward because you have the results already. So you just need to describe them in a little bit more detail and put in the correct figures. Then usually on day three, I write the introduction and discussion. So the introduction should give the reader enough information to understand your results, but not too much to write an entire book work on the field. So I would recommend if you struggle with writing the introduction to read other papers in your field that have a good introduction and then see how they structure their different points and, and then kind of follow the same format. Then for the discussion, I would try to write a paragraph for each point you want to make. So usually in the discussion, it's a little bit more interpretation of the results. It's usually also a little bit some choices that you made on getting the results that are perhaps a little bit controversial and perhaps it also contains a few of your future plans. So, so yeah, then it's the editing process and for the editing process, of course, you go over everything you wrote already. So if you made a really rough draft, that's fine. You can just go over everything you wrote and edit it afterwards. And one tip I have already is not to edit whilst you write. So editing really should be its own separate process. Otherwise, you're writing something and then editing it again and then writing it again and that can take endless. So then I want to give you seven tips that really have speeded up my writing process and hopefully will help you a lot. And so the first thing I always do is I have a reference manager. So a reference manager allows you to reference papers from across the web in an easy manner. So you have Sotero and Mently and at the moment I use Mently and I'll show you how I use it. So here I have all the papers that I've used for my paper and then when I want to reference it there is a plugin in Word that you can easily use and then you can just press that plugin and implement your little Sotero reference or you can also in LaTeX they allow you to copy the bib text so you can just put that in your LaTeX reference file. Then another thing I would really recommend if you have a longer time period to write is to write at really set points in the day because I think writing is something we easily forget. So for example if you are a morning person I would take two hours in your morning and really make that time for writing and then if you are in the flow you can decide to continue writing for a little bit longer. And then thirdly I would continuing on that note I would use Pomodoro sometimes. So I'm in general sometimes a fan of Pomodoros with certain tasks but it's mostly I use Pomodoros as a jump start to get into flow so if I really procrastinate on something I set a Pomodoro for 25 30 40 minutes and then if I'm afterwards if it's going well I can continue writing but if it's not going well I can take a break of around five minutes then the fourth tip I have is if you really get stuck on a certain paragraph and you don't know how to write it I would sometimes narrate it so I I have on my phone my Google Docs document and sometimes I my fingers are just not really working or it's not really flowing and then speaking out loud what I want to write sometimes gets me unstuck because when we say something out loud it's sometimes easier to see exactly what we are thinking. Then my fifth tip uh, kind of on this note is to also present it to a few people if you have the chance. So for example if you have a roommate around you can kind of grab them and ask them to listen to how you wrote your paper. So sometimes I would go over with a roommate how I structured my paper and kind of explain them in words how I did it. Because usually when you try to really explain to someone that's on a similar level as you, you can see the faults in your own thinking and where you need to elaborate a little bit more. So then my sixth tip, I usually also co-write. I really like co-writing personally because writing can be quite a lonely process. So if you have a friend that's in a writing process, you can join with them in a cafe, for example. But also if you don't have friends lying around that are writing at the moment. I also like these kind of online Zoom calls where people co-write together so you can find
find them if you just Google co-writing session Zoom. You can find these kind of calls. And I sometimes really like this because it's kind of motivating to see other people doing the same things as you are doing. And then finally, once you've written the entire paper, one thing I always recommend to do is to send it out to as many people as you know. So don't only send it to your professor, but also send it to your friends, for example, if they want to read it or fellow lab mates at etc because everyone can have a new perspective of what you have written and this can really aid you in getting the most perfect paper ever so these were my tips and tricks and if you have any tips for me i would love to hear them so put them down in the comments below i also made a video on how to read papers faster so if you're in the writing process i think that can also greatly benefit you and otherwise see you next week bye